What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Captain Price with Captain Price Reacts. And today, we gonna be watching Gideon Twitch, Sexist, and Favoritism. I feel like out of all the things he feels some type of way about what recently occurred on on Twitch, somebody was doing the yeah and the yeah and the, the yeah yeah on stream. And only banned him for seven days. And what Gideon did was not even that bad. So I, I, I kind of understand where he's coming from. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And let's get into this video. Someone that's not even on the Twitch platform anymore. I have been banned for over eight months. And mm. I'm the only one addressing this publicly. It's sad, but it's okay, though. Because you know what? A man that has nothing to lose is one of the most dangerous men on the planet. So, let's get into it. You see the title. Twitch. Sexist and favoritism. That's a very, very bold claim to make, Jadion. Calling someone sexist. But... I need you guys to know something. Usually, this drama, I post it on my second channel. If you're not following me on my second channel, be sure to follow me there. I stream every day. We have dope content, premium content. That's why it's called Jadion Premium. So go subscribe and hit the link down in the description below. But this right here, I want this to be known to the entire world. So I'm willing to taint my main channel just to get this message across. Twitch has been sexist for years, and they have gone unchecked. So many people have tried to come out, but it just gets brushed under the rug. They just ignore everything. So last night, all my stream on Jadion Premium, hit the link down in the description below. I was streaming. We were having a W stream. We were having fun, watching videos. And my editor, he sends me a list of videos to react to, right? I'm going down the list and I see that he sends me a Twitter link. And I'm like, bro, how am I going to react to this? This is something on Twitter. But something just told me, click on it. So I click on it and I read the headline. Girl has sexual relations live on stream i couldn't believe it you could actually see everything, everything that was happening yep. so That's i quote tweeted it and i said and i'm still banned a little jab at twitch but a joke nonetheless because i was like they at least had to give her a month to a perma ban i mean this is huge that's mm -hmm. basically showing corn i said corn to underage kids right yeah. that's twitch doing that so yeah. I'm going on with my stream, my chat spamming. Yo, she's live on TikTok. She's live on TikTok. She's live on TikTok. So I join in her TikTok live. Then I ask her the million dollar question. I know why, but like, how long are you banned for? Um, seven days. What the? Seven days. I've been pissed too. She was banned for seven, seven days. days. That's crazy. Showing corn to literally children and only a seven day day ban so i go on twitter and i say she gets on live seven day ban and i'm still over here perma ban that tweet has over a hundred and forty thousand likes a hundred and forty thousand likes huge creators talking about it twitching everybody's mentions so you would think something this big this major would go on trending and it did it went on trending for about an hour then it was taken off. Suspiciously, it was just taken off. Jake Paul is trending right now with only 2,200 tweets revolving around his name. But Twitch is not trending anymore. You guys are probably wondering, Jadion, where are you trying to go with this? I get a DM from a reliable source. I'm not going to let you guys know who. But allegedly, someone at Twitch reached out to a Twitter Connect to have them remove their name from the trending tab. Allegedly allegedly <laughs> allegedly this so i want to prove a point real quick after you guys watch this video there's been a hashtag at the bottom of the video this entire time use this hashtag on twitter if a tweet has more than 2,000 comments revolving around it it goes on trending so i want all you guys that have twitter to use this hashtag after this video is over and if this is not on trending that allegedly is going to kind of look sus but there's plenty more now i don't know the reason why this girl was banned what i do know is she was banned for a month the thing with twitch is it doesn't matter if you do stuff on their platform if you do stuff anywhere else they can still ban you so this girl she was banned on twitch so she went on twitter and said i want to myself and shoot people at twitch hq ha 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 wow. ha ha this is a terrorist threat threatening to shoot people 
at Twitch HQ, right? They extend her ban, obviously, to a perma. She wrote an apology letter to Twitch, and this is Twitch's response. After reviewing your case, we confirm that the correct enforcement was issued. However, given the details of your case, including the remorse expressed in your appeal, we have decided to reduce your suspension duration. Your suspension has been adjusted to expire in 22 calendar days. So a little bit less than a month, literally threatening to harm the people at Twitch HQ. That's great. If you write a good enough apology letter, you know what? Just be bad for a month. You'll be all good. A female Twitch streamer literally showed her genitalia on stream. Straight up showed her genitalia on purpose. And guess what happened? Three day ban. Three days. Yes, three crazy. days. I want to get into the examples where Twitch uses their full power against creators of the other sex. Starting with myself. We all know what I did on Twitch. It's no secret. And if you don't know, this is not the video for you to learn about it. Go figure it out yourself. Facts. I'm still banned. But you know I what? This it. isn't about me. Because I don't care about Twitch anymore. You know? I'm, I'm lit on YouTube. Be sure after this video to subscribe to my second channel. I'm lit over there, man. We're having a great time over at YouTube. But Twitch. There can be a terms of service for girls and then a terms of service for boys. Second example. Look at Dr. Disrespect. We still don't know till this day why he's banned. Example number three, my friend Kai, a black creator over on Twitch. Kai Sinat is the largest and fastest growing streamer on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Twitch hasn't acknowledged him on Twitter, on any of this. Speaking of Kai, congratulate, we're going to congratulate Kai for being in the top five most streamers in the world, bro. In the world right now. Black man. Breaking barriers on Twitch right now. Kai is doing numbers. We got to give Kai his W's. Like, Kai is doing numbers now, right now. Like, yeah, Kai doing numbers. Medias, Twitch hasn't ever reached out to him. Twitch hasn't even thrown my boy a bone or anything. Offered him a contract, trying to look out for him, saying congratulations, nothing. But in January, he said, why are you guys acting like monkeys on his stream? A black man, perhaps, wasn't even using the word monkey in a racist or derogatory way. Said monkey Bang. got banned for a month. month. Yep. A month. A month. But we have people throwing it in to go shoot up your HQ. But they get a little bit under a month, though. It's okay. That's example number three. And my fourth example, I have a friend by the name of Your Rage who literally almost got perma banned for his profile pic on his twitch and guys his profile pic is literally just a cartoon drawing of him yelling that a fan made but that's perma band worthy he literally had to go off on twitter just to get his account back this is my final thing i want to bring up i talked oh, about how allegedly shoot. twitch likes to brush things under the rug how they don't like to address drama or scandals or even atrocities I mean, on their own site the like this one if you guys don't remember a couple months ago there was a buffalo mass shooting where an armed man literally was looking for people of color to gun down and he live streamed it on twitch he literally live streamed it on twitch i seen it with my own eyes not the video but i seen countless of creators adding twitch twitch when are you going to respond twitch we need a response from you Nothing. They brushed Damn. it under a rug, under the rug. What company do you know would do something that heinous? Where they won't even address a, a act of straight terrorism that happened on their site and just straight up ignored it. That's crazy. Straight up ignored it when their top creators were asking them to please make a response. Nothing. Nada. Zip. I'm not making this video to get back on Twitch. I don't care anymore. I'm on YouTube, I'm having fun, I'm doing my own thing. The old Dion would care, yeah, but I don't care anymore. I'm doing this to make a stand. I'm doing this because I know this is what's right. Twitch, you're gonna address this right here. You're not gonna weasel your way out of it. I need you guys to use this hashtag that's been down here this entire time on Twitter. They can't keep getting away with this, man. We can't keep on letting these big corporations 
think if they just ignore it, right. they can get past it. No. Yeah. And I know you guys are talking about me. I know I'm public enemy number one. But like right. I said in the beginning of this video, a man that has nothing to lose is the most dangerous man on the planet. This is the last serious video you'll ever see on this channel. And I got a banger dropping for y'all soon. If you guys haven't, after you guys tweet that out, be sure to subscribe to my second channel. We stream on there almost every day. We get lit over there. Premium content, dope clips, second channel vlogs that you guys won't see on the main. A lot of dope stuff, man. I love you guys and Twitch. Your time has come. Y'all new to the channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on notifications.